In 2010, Judy Edwards was dealing with some problems that most people are too embarrassed to talk about. Constipation. Little did she know at the time, but this number two problem would go on to make over 164 million in five years. This is the story of how one good poop went on to become one of Shark Tank's most successful companies, the Squatty Potty. The story begins in the Edwards family home with Judy, Bill, and their son Bobby, a family-owned business that's located in St. George, Utah. Judy at the time, although a very health-conscious person, was dealing with a problem of her own, going number two. In 2010, Judy Edwards consulted a therapist that suggested she might try squatting to help improve her condition by helping relax her colon. Though fairly new to squatting to poop, Judy was willing to try anything in search of relief, and squatting seemed to be the natural way to do things. After all, I'd assume cavemen didn't have a ceramic toilet to sit on, and most of the world's population has to get in that position to go anyway. Judy's home was equipped with a western-style toilet. While she found relief in the squat position, she found it rather uncomfortable and awkward raising her feet up on a step stool while taking a poop. Judy tried everything, from books, different step stools, and even a bucket. But just like the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, one was too high, the other was too low, and nothing felt quite right. Alongside all the clutter of things in the bathroom, it blocked the way for other appliances in the bathroom, not to mention making the late-night bathroom run and stubbing your toe in the dark. 35 years prior, Judy gave birth to a son, Bobby. Bobby became a successful designer and contractor. When Bobby learned about his mother's condition, he realized that with his skills, he could redesign the step stool. Thus, Bobby began working in the family's garage. Bobby built several prototypes until he created one with the perfect height and width for getting into the squat position. Then, unlike the books and stool, it could be tucked away for when not in use. Nothing says Christmas like taking a dump. At least that's what the Edwards family thought. As for Christmas, they built several more and gave them to family and friends as gifts. The gifts were a hit, so Judy's son Bobby launched a website in 2011 and started to sell them online, thus the beginning of Squatty Potty. Online sales took off with much success, with this home-based business growing over $1 million in its first year. They shipped the product to all 50 states in the US and to over 17 countries worldwide. In 2012, they moved production from their home garage to a local warehouse. Shortly after, the phone rang and Bill Edwards picked it up. At the time, Bill thought it was a prank from one of his kids, but soon realized it was the Dr. Oz show calling. They shipped the Squatty Potty to their studio so they could film a segment. When the show aired, Squatty Potty sales started pouring in. With actual proof that the Squatty Potty worked, the two managed to sell over 10,000 units and get it into retail stores like Bed Bath & Beyond. By the end of year two, the company had quadrupled in sales, racking up 2.7 million. In 2012, sales plateaued a bit, then soared again the following year after Howard Stern started talking about Squatty Potty on his show after he began using it in 2013. Season 6, Episode 9, Judy walked into the shark's den, accepting a $350,000 investment for 10% equity in the company from Lori Griner on Shark Tank. When they were on the show, the stool came in both a plastic and bamboo version. After the episode aired, sales were at an all-time high with $1 million in sales in one night and over $3 million in three weeks, the highest of any product from Shark Tank at the time. In 2015, the company released a video created by the Harmon Brothers of a magical pooping unicorn that looked like it was taking on number two of rainbow soft-served ice cream. The video went viral with over 50 million views, and the company ended the year with over $15 million in sales. Since appearing on Shark Tank Season 6, Episode 9, with the viral success of the crapping unicorn and the help of Lori Griner, sales shot up to $164 million in the five years since airing on Shark Tank, becoming one of Shark Tank's most successful companies.